Hello, my Aries. Welcome back. My name is Psychic Gigi. I'm going to be doing a general mini love reading from my Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and all my cross watchers. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video so you can get all of my updated videos that I do post at least bi weekly. I, I just want to say that. Um, I do try to post something weekly, but I wasn't able to last week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into your reading. Again, if you would like a personal, in-depth, private reading regarding love, career, um, finances, please contact me directly. My information is listed below. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have for our Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For September 1st through September 15th, 2019. First card that we come up with is the Two of Pentacles. So a lot of you might be trying to just find balance within your relationship. Um, it could be you or your partner might be having to make some big financial decisions or you're going to be making it together. Um, this also talks about buying maybe a new, a large purchase. So it can also indicate that a choice that is going to be made in regards to the future of your relationship. So you need to ask yourself if you're willing to put the effort in to making it work. But at the same time, there's definitely a need to maintain balance in your relationship that is challenging at the moment. So just remember, if you want to work it out, you have to make it a priority. Um, for those of you that are single, you may have... Um, little time in your life or little time and space in your life for a new for any you know for a relationship period so just be mindful of that so if you're ready um you're going to have to adjust your you have to make room for this person to come into your life so the next card that we have is a king of pentacles and i feel like a lot of you are dealing with a um, a male energy well it's easy you know again yeah you're juggling a lot maybe you're putting in more of the effort in around the relationship but this person is a little bit unstable unsure indecisive wants to be in control type of energy, um, but all of a sudden he's become a little bit ungrounded. So there could be something happening in around his finances as he starts to talk about this financial decision or this purchase that you're, you're looking to make, and it might make them feel a little bit like a level of, that like, it might make them feel like there's a lack of stability, and they're not exactly sure where the relationship's going, so they're not forthcoming with making that that um, decision so also be careful with any type of controlling behaviors that you and or your partner might have the other thing that this represents this person is, must be a little bit older than you and they tend to be a little bit impatient so <laughs> maybe impatient unreliable maybe just not supportive of the decision that you're talking about but here's the good news because we do have the six of swords reversed um with the six resorts reversed, I feel like maybe this person kind of distanced himself from you for a little bit, you and or your partner, and then they end up coming back to the situation because they're like, you know what, hmm, um, I re I'm really not ready to let this go. I really think that I should give it a better opportunity or put maybe a little bit more effort into it because I wasn't really giving it my full attention in the beginning. So the next card that I have is the six of wands. Upright, so there is some success or some victory in around your relationship. I feel like um, there's going, it's going to move into more strength and stability. Your relationship will move into more strength and stability as long as you give and allow that balance of time and effort that you need to achieve the goals that you that you and your partner are looking to do. But you have to achieve them together. This is not just you know, in order for you to receive victory in a relationship, it has to be both parties must be on the same page. Um, but it, this also indicates that this could be your dream partner. It, maybe they're entering into your life, and this person's very confident, very successful, and they're looking to put you on a pedestal. And there we have the two of wands. So some of you might be dealing with two of these energies here. Some of you might be having it, be in a relationship, feeling like this person that you're dealing with is unstable and somebody new comes in and your fear of changing like there's a lot there's a fear right there of, of changing um you might be finding that your current relationship's a little bit boring and you're just staying together because it's just the safest bet 
Um, it also says that the relationship may be holding you back because you're afraid to leave and fear the unknown. This also is a travel card. So it could be you and your partner thinking about maybe putting that extra money out to take a trip, take a travel, to bring that spark, that zest back in the relationship, which is definitely needing. But I do see it. There's going to be a sudden turnaround in regards to your partner, and I feel like you guys are going to be re-engaging re in the relationship, being more present in and around your relationship. If you are currently single, you might be getting back together with your ex, or you're going to have another option that comes around you that gives you choices, and you're like, nope, not making that decision right now, hell no. So, and this person that might be coming back in your ex could be a knight of wands, and a knight of wands, they're very arrogant, hyper, they're really exciting, they don't, they, they're very fearful, so they do kind of jump in with both feet without even thinking of the consequences of long term, like you're not going to get that stability, that, that stable answer, or that concrete answer of what, like, what they want, if they do come back into your life. It also, you know, is, is reminding us to not allow any type of jealous energy. Um, this person that you're dealing with might be a little bit of a womanizer. I have to be completely honest with when I come up with the king of wands, that is somebody who likes a variety. Um, and if they get bored, they move on to the next. And then they can come back very easily. It's, it's not difficult for them. They're very confident. Um, but they're so fun that you just can't resist that type of energy, that fun, that fearful, you know, that fearless energy where, you know, I feel like my areas are more stable and, you know, things are <laughs> pretty, pretty quiet. For them. Um, so the next card that I have is the Five of Pentacles and it is reversed. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be out rejoining the world again because this guy, this, this one energy comes in. I feel like a lot of my Aries this month are dealing with two people. They're dealing one from their past and one that's coming in new. So be prepared because there is a decision that needs to be made. You don't have to make it right away, but you definitely need to evaluate the situation. So don't get caught up in that fast and furious type of energy that Knight of Wands who might be coming back towards you. Make sure that you're very um, balanced and grounded, but I do feel like a lot of you are going to be overcoming some struggles that you've had in around relationships. So either your relationship is going to start moving into a new steady path um, and making some positive changes in around you, or you're going to free yourself from a relationship that no longer is good for you. Let's go ahead and do one more, one romance oracle angel for my Aries sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what our romance angel cards need to say to us. For September 1st through September 15th, 2019. Okay, attraction. So there's definitely a strong attack attraction between you and your significant other. The attraction's there and also the love. But you have to like really enjoy this moment fully. Because if you're juggling too many things right now, um, you're missing out on the opportunity to balance out that time of, you know, whether you're working too much or you're not putting enough effort in around the relationship. So just please be mindful of that. This could be you and or your partner. Again, maybe that's a decision that needs to be made. If they're not going to put that effort in, you might go ahead and take that other new opportunity that's coming around. The next, um, so for our Oracle Angel cards, we have growing. And growing is about, again, learning from our lessons, trying to make a final decision, whether we're going to stay in our current relationship or go ahead and allow this new energy to come in, which is a little bit more stable. So what is it that you want? Some people love to just go off of that exciting type of energy. They need that passion, that um, excitement in their life. But this is from a higher perspective, that everything that we experience in life, whether we perceive it to be wonderful, a wonderful blessing or a terrible mis misfortune or somewhat in between, it always serves for our, how, our highest growth as a spiritual being in human bodies on this earth. So it, like you have to embrace your life and the experience without judgment and trust in your knowledge that they all serve a purpose. So even though you might be dealing with two, two people in your life, but still serving a purpose of some kind, there's still, you know, knowledge to be nourished. And in order for us to grow, we have to learn to grow at a soul level. I like it's about finding balance between the material and the spiritual world and freeing yourself from inner conflicts that you might have within yourself. 
Thank you so much for watching, Aries. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, my information is listed below if you'd like a personal in-depth private reading with me. Love and light to everyone.